Hi guys, my name's Andrea and welcome to Barbie Punk. So today I'm going to be showing you how to come up with a last minute Halloween costume. We have just about a week left until Halloween! But that also means there's not a lot of time to come up with a costume. If you watched my costumes past and present video, you will have seen that I so often have to come up with a last minute Halloween costume or costume in general and I have gotten pretty good at it. So I wanted to share with you some of my tips and tricks on how I come up with a costume. We're gonna start with brainstorming and this is just gonna get some of the ideas flowing so that we have a base level of something to work off of. So just write everything down. Just anything you think of, anything you like be it movies, TV, books, celebrities, food, animals, whatever you like, write it down. What if I was an ice cream? You think I could make an ice cream costume? Waffles doesn't agree. Waffles! You could be my waffle cone! No? Fine. Fine. You could be my waffle cone. Do you love spaghetti? We can make that happen. Spaghetti and meatballs. Is there someone that people keep telling you you look like? Write it down. Who do I look like? Uh. I can be like Pink Diamond from Steven Universe. Oh yeah. Excuse you. Who else has pink hair? I tend to write down a lot of pink haired characters because since I already have pink hair, it's part of the costume. It makes it a little easier. I don't have to buy a wig. I don't know of any that have pink hair. Well, what about not pink hair? I could wear a wig. I guess. You could be, like... Hmm. You could be plank. Okay. What do you think, Pogi? What would that be? If I was plank, could I just do, like, cardboard? Yes. And then just stuff my face through it? Yes. We have to make the face plank has. And then I'll be the guy that holds plank. I forget his I name. I could paint my face like that. Ooh. Comment down below if you want a plank tutorial. Yes, 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 yes. If I get three comments, five. If I get five comments that aren't you telling me that I should do plank, I will make a plank Halloween tutorial before Halloween, okay? But it has to be like in the next like three days. Oh, it has to happen and make sure you consider all your possibilities. Maybe you wanna do some sort of crossover. Maybe you wanna gender bend a character. Maybe you wanna add some sort of twist that will make your costume a little more personal or a little more interesting. We're just kinda of trying to get the brain going, some ideas on the page so that we're not lost in the next step. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to think about is your skill set. What are you good at? Can you do epic special effects makeup? Do you own a sewing machine and do you know how to sew? Do you have practice with Warbla and making armor? Can you make an epic foam sword? Most likely, if you have one of those skills, you probably don't need this video. Like if you could do Mikey level makeup, you could slap on a full epic SFX face and slap on a shitty V costume and suddenly Party City would be copying you. So we're gonna go ahead with my skill set, which is Kinda, can kinda do some of those things if I tried really hard. And then obviously as we're going, you're gonna start crossing things off your list. Are there any characters in like Candyland that have cotton candy hair? Ooh, you know I wanted to be Princess Lolly. You could do it. That sounds hard at this stage though. Totes. Another thing you have to think about is resources. How much time, money, and energy can you and do you want to put into this costume? If you're watching this the first day I've uploaded it, we have about a week until Halloween. That doesn't necessarily mean you're willing to dedicate an entire week to it, but it does mean that you have time to order things online if need be. If you're watching this closer to Halloween, you're probably gonna have to venture out into the real world and pick up bits and pieces in actual stores and talk to actual humans. Which is not my preferred method. So I've given myself 
just about a week until I have to upload this video. And if you have a lot of time that you want to dedicate to it, you can probably craft something pretty cool. How much money do you want to put into this? If you don't mind spending 50 plus dollars on a Halloween costume, you can just stop the video right now, head on over to Spirit Halloween or Party City, something like that, and buy yourself a prepackaged costume. Done. No problem. Last minute costume? Check. I tend to find those costumes cheaply made, never to be worn again, and too expensive for the quality that they are. So I'm not going to do that. Which leads me to the last resource. What do you already have? I do have, I do actually have that um, Chucky Finster shirt. Oh yeah, you could be Chucky. Did I bring that though? I don't think I brought that. No, you don't have it, so <laughs> you can't do it. As a human being, throughout your life, you have accumulated like a little pack rat or a squirrel hoarding nuts. You've accumulated an entire world of clothing and knickknacks that could potentially help us in creating a Halloween costume. You've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. So take all your who's it's, all your what's it's, find them, mix and match them, and we're gonna make a costume. Sorry the brainstorming part was ridiculously long, but it's kind of like writing an essay. At least for me. I personally need to write out an outline before writing an essay. That's not everybody. Some people can just dive right in. They're like, oh, I got this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I'm like, let me make a plan. However, now is time to actually start doing. So we're gonna take our lists into our closets and we're gonna think. Unfortunately, I've given myself an extra challenge because this is not all my clothing. <laughs> this is just what I brought and what I've bought since being in Tennessee. If this were my real closet, I would have so much to work with, but we're gonna try to figure out something with what we got. I could be ice cream. <gasps> or a donut. Could be a gladiator. Oh, yes, 100%. Well, that's not really what it, well, okay. <laughs> I could be a, you know. A Roman legionnaire. A fancy, oh, oh yeah, sure, yes. I got a lot of black. So I could do... God, Lolita. You don't know what a Lolita is. I don't, but I know that it's something that people say after goth. Yeah, it can be. One thing in your closet that you could always make work is something black. If you have any black clothing, you can throw that on and you could be a cat, a vampire, a Disney villain, a skeleton, a panda. So I got all black, I could do, ooh, ooh, okay. If I wore like a simple black dress mm -hmm. and something like, I don't know, fashion-y, I could do like Edna Mode from The Incredibles. I could see that. That uh, wouldn't be hard. And Incredibles 2 just came out, so that. Yeah, ooh, on trend. But today we're gonna go for something a, just a little bit more fun and I'm gonna try to create an Edna Mode costume from Incredibles slash Incredibles 2. So Halloween is obviously way more relaxed than say a convention like an anime expo or a comic con. You don't have to have every little detail correctly. If I were going to an event like that I would make sure that I sewed on exactly her sleeve detail and exactly the dress that she wore in the movie. But that's not what we're doing. It's Halloween. Nobody cares everyone's drunk or it's just children. So instead of creating what the character has actually already worn, try to get inside their head and think about something they might wear or something that looks similar to what they've already worn. Edna Mode is a fashion designer. She's very avant-garde. She likes to wear black, she likes to wear tights, and she likes to have fun sleeves. And then the biggest part of this costume, specifically, is going to be choosing accessories that make it obvious that that's who I'm trying to be. Because what even is she? 
She's like... Fashion forward. You don't have the oh. hair for it. Well, I guess like... I could get a wig! <laughs> As we've been saying. Alright, what is Edna Mode? She's... The hair. Glasses. The glasses. The voice. The voice. Darling. We'll workshop it. Oh, we? you have to have the uh, cigarette holder thing that she has, like the yes. Cruella de Vil thing. Yes. And that's it. Easy. Cool. Uh, we got that. You that's feel three like... things. So think about whichever character or object you chose and think about the main characteristics of that character or the main identifiers that you're like, ah, oh, this, this, and this. Check you're obviously this person or thing. If it's like pizza, you're like, ah, cheese, crust, tomato sauce, you're a pizza, aren't you? If it's a bag of jelly beans, you're like, ah, bag, jelly beans, you're a bag of jelly beans. By the way, a bag of jelly beans would be super easy to make. Grab yourself a clear trash bag and then blow up some like water balloons with air and just stuff them on in. As long as you have the main identifiers, the rest can just be filled in with something similar. No, no, no. we can do this. I'm gonna go on Amazon. I'm gonna go on Amazon. I'm gonna buy those three things. If you're making a last minute Halloween costume, Amazon is your best friend because you can get that free two day shipping and get it here right in time super quick. So I've just gone ahead and I've found myself a wig, some glasses, and a cigarette holder for my costume. That's my camera in the background, um, but I just found a couple of things on Amazon. We're gonna order it and we're gonna just like hope, hope to God that it gets here in time. I've given myself a week before I have to put this video up. The only thing about Amazon is that you need to make sure the expected delivery date is within your time frame because they usually have those or if they don't make sure the package isn't coming from somewhere across the globe like Australia or China this is my expected delivery date I'm giving myself a week before I have to upload this video so hopefully it gets here sooner rather than later because I think I'm uploading on the 23rd I guess I could have gotten faster shipping, but I decided to prioritize uh, money and cheapness. Because no matter how many times you push two-day shipping for something in China, it's gonna get lost in the mail, it's gonna have to go through customs, something crazy is going to happen, or can happen, doesn't always happen, but something crazy could happen to make that package come weeks later. Weeks, maybe even months. It has happened to me. So as a warning, make sure your package is at least coming from the country that you live in because then it is likely to actually make it in time. My costume supplies have gotten here in two days. Excellent, excellent. Even though I chose to order my items off of Amazon, you could have easily found these accessories at a costume store. Costume stores always have these short little blunt haircut bob banged wigs. Those are a staple of any Halloween store. So if you need one, super easy to find. And if you need circle glasses, I didn't specifically order this type, but Harry Potter lenses could be repurposed for this costume. And then a cigarette holder could easily be found as a flapper accessory. So if you were trying to make this costume specifically, those are the type of items that you could easily pick up to recreate what I'm doing. And that's just how you're going to have to train your mind for whatever costume you do pick out. You find the identifiers and then you think, what other costume or what other store could I easily find this in? And then again, if you can't find certain things, you could probably craft them. Wigs, not super easy to craft, but glasses, 
you could probably make out of a heavy construction paper. Trace them out, tape them together, put them on your face. And the same with the cigarette holder. You would have black construction paper, just roll it up, and then add some white construction paper on the end. Super easy. Find whatever your balance is between buying things and crafting things. So your final step is execution. You're gonna combine whatever you had in your closet with your purchased accessories and or your easily craftable items. Today, ready or not, we gotta do this. Um, I actually ordered a dress from Forever 21. It did not come in time, so we're gonna work with what we have. Um, I'm probably gonna take this black dress and and she, she possibly would wear a kimono. This one's a butterfly kimono, but we're just gonna work with it. I'm gonna take this wig and make it just a little less shiny by using dry shampoo. Mm. Kind of worked. So I got my outfit here. I don't know how I feel about the kimono, but it doesn't make any sense right now because we need the, uh, the identifying features as I talked about before. So I'm just gonna put this cute little thing on my head. Here. Done. Oh yeah, I've also done my makeup minimally because um, she doesn't wear a lot of makeup. Whoa. I didn't do that the best. And then a wig that we powdered. Most importantly. Doodle doo doo doo. It can also help add to an illusion if you can manage a duo or group costume. Quick rundown of what we've done with Jack Jack's costume. Um, we bought this red onesie off of Amazon. We <laughs> shaved off his beard. We uh, put his hair really stupidly. We, we could have shaved it, we could have done a ball cap, but we didn't. We just uh, tied it up and spiked it. And then we got this gigantic lollipop from Party City. And if you can manage to do an accent for the entire time. Edna mode. No cakes. Simple, elegant, yet bold. You will die. This is a hobo suit, darling. You can't be seen in this. Who is it? Yes, what are useless. <laughs> so that can get annoying in 10 seconds flat. <laughs> Thanks for watching this goofy video, guys. Um, I hope that it was somewhat helpful. If anything, you know how to reproduce this crappy Edna Mode costume. If not, maybe you learned some skills on how to kind of come up with something last minute by yourselves. Next time I make for you. None of this last minute baloney. But I had a lot of fun doing it, so thanks for watching. And like, subscribe, hit the bell, and don't ask questions, just go with it.